what are the most exciting trends in Catholic academic circles right now? Uh, you don't often hear the phrase uh, exciting trends and <laughs> academic circles put together very often. We're going to make that a thing. <laughs> yeah, right. But for me, um, the first would be uh, what is being called the decolonial turn. That is that in academic circles, we're really wrestling with the fact that, for instance, in the Americas, Catholicism arrives with an invading colonial power. And it has grown up in that context, even in our own country. And so as scholars, we're trying to think through what are the vestiges of that colonial, imperial kind of thinking? Because even, even as the empires disappeared uh, after World War II, for instance, you know, there's been a lot of post-colonial and now decolonial thinking that says, you know, that's the vestiges of that are still around. How do we uproot that? How do we deal with the legacies of colonialism? I mean, look at what happened during the Amazonian Synod to only see how indigenous peoples in our continent still are uh, some of the most marginalized. Mm -hmm. And one need not look further than our own national situation right now to know that we as a people, but also we as a church, need to deal with a long legacy of slaveholding and racism. And then the other thing I would say um, is uh, the rise of intercultural analysis, um, which is really trying to think through um, what, what you know, what is that meeting of cultures? What does that mean? What, what are its implications? Um, you know, we've talked so much recently about a shrinking planet, you know, the globe is so small, and, and, and that is certainly true, uh, even especially for us in New York City, where so many cultures, people from so many cultures exist on one block. And then, of course, as I mentioned earlier, you know, Latinx theology has been on the forefront of thinking through what does it mean to have uh, an intercultural background within your very own person? You know, what does that mean in a church that is Catholic in the broadest sense of the word? There's so many cultures, and it's, it's moving from a sense in which, you know, you have this fixed thing called Catholicism, that kind of implants itself in different cultures, to thinking about how, how is Catholicism itself something different when people of different cultures and of multiple cultures uh, live it out in the context of their own world, in their own communication. And that intercultural piece is really, uh, really fascinating. And there's some just enormously uh, important um, uh, theoretical work going on. And, and so, um, you know, I think that has, that, that uh, resonates with even what's, you know, what has been going on in Catholic history. Um, you know, traditionally, so many people have narrated the history of U.S. Catholicism as, you know, the story of immigrants, and especially Irish and Italian immigrants. They land and, you know, Catholicism moves west and so on. But the reality is that, you know, Catholics were here before there was the United States. And, um, and so the story of that church needs to kind of uh, change. And, um, you know, especially uh, the story of Latinx Catholics. But I think there's a wider story there, too. So, so these are just some examples of things that are going on in the academy that I find very exciting and that really impact what we're doing at the center.